What to do, ladies and gentlemen, right here is the fourth attempt to make this video. Man, I accidentally deleted uh, uh, the first, uh, the, the second one, sorry. In the first one, I ended up taking the video the wrong way. I hate when I take YouTube videos and they're up and down like a cell phone. Um, so I had to redo it. But anyways, here we are. This little guy right here is off of Red Bull, bred to his niece. For those that don't know, uh, you can check out videos of Red Bull that I have up. Ooh, that was a perfect stack. Um, that I have of Red Bull. Red Bull is off of Grand Champion El Toro, bred to Mona Lisa Jr. Uh, Mona Lisa. Uh, Mona Lisa is an inbred Grand Champion Futuristic Daughter. She also has Grand Champion Dirty Bird in her, um, which is a Dax son that got sold to Spain. I really loved him. I wanted to use him, but once he got sold to Spain, I was like, yeah, I'm not fitting to have frozen semen shipped. I hate frozen semen. I refuse, I refuse to use frozen semen. I'll never use frozen semen again. It, you know, uh, I just got gypped. Um, I had frozen semen shipped, and it, it arrived to me dead. Um... And the paper was never sent that verifies what percentage uh, 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 of life the semen had uh, uh, when it was collected and I believe before it was shipped. Um, so yeah, it came to me, I want to say it was like, it was low, man, because they told me it at least had to be around 40% chance, um, 40% alive just to give you, you know, uh, just 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 to take and it came to me and it was below 10 I don't know if it was seven percent or what it was but at the time my female was already cut open and uh, I just was like just we'll, we'll just shoot for it and hopefully she takes it she didn't take um, and then not to mention literally four thousand dollars you know with the shipping with the surgery um, then I, I owed money to have it sent back I had to send the uh, the tank that it came in back like I didn't even know I was gonna have to pay for that mess um so yeah, it just it was horrible experience. But anyways, so then uh uh the dam side, she is a guap daughter, uh bred to Mona Freakin' Lisa Jr. uh which is a uh, Mona Freakin' Lisa Jr. is Red Bull's sister. Um so that's where you get, you know, uh Red Bull bred to his niece. Um gave me a big litter. I kept all the females. I sold the males. Uh he was the best one. Um in my, my opinion, I really, really liked him the most out of all the other males. Um, that's why I priced him the highest. Um, and I'm sure he's going to be a beast, without a doubt. You know, he's looking really good. He's super short. He's, uh, I want to say he's around the same size as the Blue Tribe male. Oh, big shout out to James LaFavre, I believe is how you say your last name. Um, he's, I believe he's a sheriff in Virginia. Um, he ended up picking up that Blue Tribe boy, you know, two days after I posted the video. Um, so this little guy is still available. He's 3.5K. He's around 10 weeks old. He's had his first two shots. He needs his last two booster shots as well as his rabies shot. Uh, I'm located in Kentucky. I accidentally stepped on him. You can contact me at 270-317-1952. Uh, he's ready to go ASAP. Um, $1,000 deposit. The rest at pickup. If you need shipping, it's an extra $550. Um, you're more than welcome to come pick them up in person. Um, same thing I'll be getting with you, James, on uh, shipping day. I'll be he hearing from my shipper here on Tuesday. Um, more than likely, it should be by Tuesday, uh, on when he will be getting shipped out. Um, so like I said, he is available. You can text me at 270-317-1952. I'm trying to get him to stack. But yeah, something has to catch his attention. Oh, let me walk over here. Post office came by. There we go. There we go. Let's see if he won't look at me. No, he, 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 as soon as he saw me, he was like, ah, I need to come running to you. But uh, he is available. How's it going? Pretty good, sir. Yeah, I know it. I'm over here making a YouTube video of him <laughs> trying to sell him. Uh, you got a letter in between. Thank you, sir. All right. You have a good one. Yes, sir. You too. Oh, there he goes. He just stacked. We just stacked up and put this mail up. There he goes. So he's super compact. What I like about him, he's super compact. He's super short for his age. He was a lot shorter than his siblings, and that's why I was like, all right, dude. From my experience, um, you know, it, it takes a little bit of knowledge, you know, to, how to pick out a pup out of a litter. 
and I've definitely uh, picked up a lot. Um, what I realized is uh, all, the smaller dogs always have have been the smallest. They always have been, man. It's I, I don't. It just yeah. It's never it's never been any different. It's always been the smallest dog stay the smallest, and that's what I've liked. That's what I prefer. Uh, he also has a short back, which I wouldn't doubt it because from the Red Bull pups, they've all had short backs. The Red Bull um, siblings have all had short backs. Um, they've all had crazy chest, um, beautiful fronts, uh, nice rears, um, uh, amazing top lines. Uh, so it's been, you know, very, very consistent. You know, those who've been watching my videos for a long time know, you know, the, the, the two consistent uh, breedings that I've ever done was Lucky to Jupiter. Um, and I would say uh, El Toro to uh, Mona Lisa. Oh my goodness, those were two of the best uh, best litters I had, and like, I'm talking about the whole litter. I mean, I've had some other great litters, I have. Uh, for instance, um, when I bred Grand Champion Chumper to Persia, oh my goodness, Roy Zarelli and Savage, Ooh, oh my goodness. Um, I've had some other good ones between Guap and Savage. Oh, um, that, that, I, I, uh... I, I kept a lot of the, I kept all the no I kept a lot of the females sold most of the males, but from the pictures I've seen that the the, the buyer sent me I was very pleased. Um, and then Red Bull versus uh, Red Bull between it, th these are the two best breedings that I've done with my own dogs. Then uh, the breeding between Red Bull and Savage I would say that's the best breeding that I've ever done. Um, but using my own dogs that I produce, not using a stud, someone else's stud. So. Uh, like I said, I'm very. That's why I kept all the females off this breeding because I'm. I am, and I and didn't even sell any. I got several. I'm not selling any. I didn't even post them. Um, I will be posting them eventually. But um, I'm very, very, very excited uh, to see um, how they turn out. Like I said, that's definitely the most consistent uh, litter that I've produced in house. So, with that being said, like I said, this little guy is available. He's $3,500, $1,000 deposit. He's ready to go now. If you need shipping, it's an extra $550. Um, you're more than welcome to come pick him up. I pretty much spoke over his bloodline pretty well. Look at him, look at him. He just, he just won't stay off my feet, dude. He's super friendly. Um, I'm trying to get a good video of him, man. So I got plenty of me talking about his blood and stuff, but now it's time to make a video of him. Should have brought my kids out here. Let's see what it's still real still. But, uh... Yeah, like I said, look at that rear. You can see it. You can see the rear on them already. So it's just, and then from my experience, what you see at them at a young age, it only gets better from there. It only gets better from there. So you can already see his fronts are beautiful. His rear is nice. His top line is there. He was a, oh yes, he was a super chunky baby. Oh my goodness, he was super chunky. Um, so yeah. Uh, and then his color's beautiful, man. So, red, smut, fawn. You know, people call it different colors. I'm not too sure exactly what to label it as. Look at that hole in my boot. With that being said, Greco Bully Camp Baby signing off. Always.